All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting out here on the review table and I'm getting ready to do a, an overview or kind of a comparison or just an introduction. I mean, if you really want to see a good review on some Trigicons, go on over there to uh, Guns and Gear. The guy's magical when it comes to doing reviews on the Trigicon. But I want to show you this rifle. This is one of my favorite setups. And from front to back, uh, <laughs> again, we use the uh, Yankee Hill the 5C1 or whatever it is, muzzle brake. I've got a stream light on this thing and I just replaced the batteries on it. Set of Magpul in bus sights, ballistic advantage barrel, one and eight twist. And on top of this is a Trigicon. This is set up with the Aurora reticle from the guys over there at Primary Arms. Oh yeah. And when matched up with a 62 grain, this thing is magical out to 600 yards without any problems. I'm not probably gonna, not going to take this rifle out past that, but I will tell you this, you can ding and dang and bang some steel or whatever else you got to shoot out to distance without any kind of problems. Uh, so why am I looking at this rifle? Well, I love the ACOG. Uh, the only downfall with the ACOG is... Uh, for the normal day individual, they're very expensive. But for those individuals who are going scuba diving and doing things to bad people in foreign lands, it has been shown that this is probably one of the best optics on the, in the world. In the world. High density glass, prism scope. It's really cool. Uh, I shoot with corrected vision, so as long as I have the correct vision behind this thing, I'm in good shape. It does not have an ocular adjustment back here. I would, before we start talking about the ACOG, <laughs> a good substitute is this guy right here. This is the primary arms, this is your Gen 3 5 times prism scope with the exact same reticle as this guy right here. This is in green. Love it. We'll be doing a review on this thing in the near future, mounting it on one of the backups or some of the things that I got going on. But I've got all these uppers that we're getting ready to magically. Uh, put into action here very soon now that the weather has subsided and we can make it out to the range. Okay, let's put this guy away. This is one of the Econ uppers and we're going to use this to kind of highlight and illustrate, oops, stay there, this guy right here. Now, this was sent to the channel by a good friend of mine. Uh, it is not mine to keep, but <laughs> he said, I want you to take a look at this thing and let me know what your thoughts are. So we're going to take a look at this. This is the Trigicon. This particular one is the TA110-C-100491. And this is in a 3.5 by 35. A COG scope, the Advanced Combat Optic Gun Sight with the Colt Knob Thumb Screw Mount. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Now, the cool part about this guy is where... And you know what? Stay. <laughs> Where this guy right here uh, utilizes the, tr the tritium infill, plus you've got the little uh, the vein thing up here uh, that collects light. This, on the other hand, is powered by a AA battery. Now, isn't that cool? A AA battery instead of this thing. Now, why would you want this? You would think, man, I really want the ACOG with the, with the, uh, the, the fiber optic thing that would gather light. Yes. I would too, but I asked him, what's the advantage? Well, the ACOG with the Tritium infield has a lifespan of about 10, 12 years, and then you gotta send it back, spend money to get them to replace the in insert. And uh, this one, well, AA battery, you just go to your store, you keep a stack of these things, and this is the actual battery that came with it, Energizer, Ultimate Lithium. Yeah, so you put that in there and you go with it. Now, here it is in all its glory. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to zoom the camera in just a little bit so you can see it a little better. Here we go. Stand by. All right. So in the box, you get nothing up here. You got a nice little box. You do get a battery. Double A. You get cheap as can be. Replace them anytime. You do get the optic itself. We'll go over the details on this guy here in a few seconds, and I'll show you what the reticle looks like. You get a nice Trigicon sticker. You get some uh, warranty card. Here's a identifier. What you got? Visit our community. Oh, yeah. Trigicon. We are good and we are expensive. But again, you're getting a, you can chop a tree down with these guys. And here is your LED. Now this is the three and a half by 35 LED. If you Google that, it's going to give you all the cool information, but this is basically everything you need to know. Limited lifetime warranty, yada, yada, yada. It comes in a couple different models, but uh, the one we've got is the T110. Uh, it does come with a pen for cleaning the lens which is pretty cool. So in any case, that's what you get in the box. Let's talk about this thing. Now, 
why would you want one of these over this guy? Well, again, I talked to you about uh, battery versus lifespan. Uh, also, you can manually adjust your brightness levels. Now, here it is at level four, you get about 12,000 hours if you leave this thing in. What that equates to? About a year and a half. So just leave it in. If you're using indoors, you can adjust the light level as far as you want. Another advantage that you get out of this guy, a little less magnification, but a lot more eye relief, less field of view. Does that make sense? So if you're a little longer, you're going to have a little, lot more eye box. It's more forgiving, but less field of view. Big is not always better, but again, you get that advantage. Now, taking a look at this thing from front to rear, we've got the rear ocular. There is no adjustments here. You do have two mounts, one here, one here. Go ahead and mount your RMR or whatever else you want to put up there. One of the things that I absolutely love about the ACOX, and I wish that everybody would incorporate these things. You got tethered caps, there's O-rings in here, but you don't need anything to make any kind of adjustment with it. You just turn it one half MOA per click, or <laughs> and you got up this big enough for somebody like me to read. And then you've got this one over here, right or left, and you can hear the clicks. Hold on. Very tactile as we would always say. This thing's absolutely bad to the bone. 7075 aluminum, T6 aluminum, uh, forged, which means, yes, you can cut a tree down with this thing, or you could hit somebody in the head with it, or beat them, or do whatever else you needed to do. High density glass. What does that mean? You're gonna have spectacular clear clarity. This thing, unbelievable. Hold on one second. I'm gonna look through it. Oh man, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Absolutely. You got six levels of brightness with an off index in between each one. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and just move it from here. If you want to turn it on in the middle of the night, just one click. Either way, you know you're going to get your level of brightness wherever you need to go. Uh, you can go too off. Actually, that's the point right there that you're going to be going with. You have directional arrows for your plus and negative on your battery. So let's go ahead and open that up. And again, you can go with this mount right here, uh, but they make several different mounts. You've got uh, Bob Bro makes a good mount. You've got uh, Knight's Armament, as well as the guys over there at uh, American Defense. O-ring attachment right here, which means you can go swimming with this thing. Not that I'm probably going to go swimming anywhere. Well, I might go into water down in Aruba here this week. Just go ahead and put this guy in here. Very easy. Very simple. And tighten that up to where it compresses the O-ring so you know you're weather tight, waterproof. Look at that glass. Isn't that beautiful? And we can go ahead and it's turned on to level 6. Now let me see if I can see this up here where you guys can see it. There you go. And what happens is the chevron and down to the lower post below the 400 yard mark is lit. And what that does is it gives you the ability to actually, if you're not worried about being on target at the distance, well, you can go ahead and use it as a dot and go for the broke in a CQB situation. Uh, anything else that I missed on this thing? I don't think so. You're getting the history. You are getting a lot of optics for that. But this is going to run you about $1,200, $1,300. And that's where it's hard for a civilian or somebody who's not a professional in the industry to actually jump out there. And that's why uh, you have alternatives like this guy right here. And like I said, um, this has the exact same reticle as the ACOG up here, except this bad boy is five powered. But again, like the tethered caps, really nice. But you're gonna have to use a tool. At least I, have, <laughs> I haven't opened this thing. Yeah, you're gonna have to use a screwdriver to adjust these things. Is that a deal breaker for the uh, optics or the prism for this guy? No, <laughs> but we'll do a review on this thing here in the near future. Uh, but right now, I will tell you this, to have one of these guys, these guys, either this one or this one in the stable. If you're into guns, this is kind of one of those things that uh, it's kind of a must, I think. Kind of like, a, I don't know, an EOTech or an Aimpoint. 
not going to use it all the time, but if you're collecting guns and doing what we do in the YouTube world, it's always cool to have one. But with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I know that something like this is very expensive, and that's one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to share it with you. Uh, but it's, it is, it's unique, and it is, there it is. Look at that. Let's go ahead and mount it on too. Um, also, on this mount, it comes with it. These uh, are staked, so you can't lose them, which is very, very important. But look at that. Isn't that nice? Very cool. It's Cutter Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom comes out at 600 yards with some prism glass that's really, really clear. Y'all be good. I am out of here. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Take care.